I have some suggestions you might find compelling. I'm sure you've missed the thrill of off-road racing. Well, then you'll be happy to sign up for this new expedition. There are plenty of off-road sites you've yet to discover. So get your backpack. We're going deeper into off-road addiction under the careful curation of our home specialist, Pierce, the off-roader himself. This is Off-Roading Addict Volume 2, a Motorfest series. The island still has a few secrets to unveil. You'll see. Let's see what's coming up. This playlist is taking a wildlife documentary approach. Pierce has already ventured out on all the trails you're about to discover. He scouts the field, marked out the paths, and chose the right vehicles. busy, so he's not going to be with you live. But he's been making voice logs during his journey and has shared them with you. Those recordings will be accompanying you for every event on this playlist. Well, did Pierce gauge the adrenaline levels for this playlist? You be the judge driver. Volume 2, Entry 1. Found this old tape recorder in the mess I call my boot. I mostly use it for shopping lists, but this has got to be a better use for it. Motorfest have sent me on a mission. It's all part of the new off-roading adventure. Here's the plan. I'm going on a solo trip around the island to find the best trails this land can provide. Oh my gosh, I'm buzzing! 
I'm currently moving along the leeward coast east of the volcano. The view is bonkers. I can see all the way to the ocean. This route, though, it's a real quagmire. Motorfest uses that Falcon SSV. I really liked it last time. It's sturdy but agile, perfect for adventurers getting ready for their first battle. in one piece. Right! Got a great first route all set, so that's me done for today. I need a place for the night, and this beach will do nicely. It's looking like it'll get cold tonight. Maybe I'll have a look in these wrecks for an old bottle of something to keep me warm. Might get lucky. After setting up that nice SSV introduction, Pierce, during his little tour of the island, got to push the concept of going off-road to yet just another level. So much so that he's decided to lend you his own special Land Rover Defender for this next event. You're going back in. You got the gist of it, right? As you progress on these tracks, you'll still be walking in Pierce's footsteps. So I'll keep playing you his recordings. The adventure continues. said they had to be on land, and so down the river we go! I'm riding the current like a Pacific salmon! Blimey, got a couple of them fish stuck on my back seat! Hang on, guys! I completely forgot to throw them back in the water. Oh, this is heartbreaking. That path is magnificent, though. It's got everything off-roading addicts crave. I mean, 
Just look at these caves. Aren't they just the dog's bollocks? The festival people are going to need a proper all-rounder to handle this brilliant path. Well, that's decided. I'm giving away my own trusty old Defender for that race. It's a little banged up, but it's the most reliable machine there is and a great companion. I can see on my map there's a passage up north. Looks like an easy downhill straight away, perfect way to avoid a detour. Oh, I take back what I said. Like all the off-road tracks on this island lead to beaches. Well, I suppose that's what you'd expect on an island, and it's actually perfect for our next path. Damn! Lost half my ruddy supplies in the river! But I still have the fish! You didn't die for nothing, lads! Driver, new challenges lie ahead. As you've heard, Pierce had a few. turbulent experiences. Well, trust me when I tell you that there is more to come. Well, you've already had your SSV experience in the first race. Now you're going to challenge yourself even more in the time attack with a maxi buggy, the Peugeot 3008 DKR. This vehicle is elevated like a tractor, but weighs about as much as a Ferrari Stradale. I don't see how you could not have fun with it. pursuit of the best trails has led me to the North Shore. Motorfest wants a crazy race with all the trimmings. Once again, I'm going to give them their money's worth. Wild, rocky beaches are a real challenge. There's no single right path. Adventurers have to use their instincts and find the optimal way to exploit the terrain. with softer suspension than my old Defender right now. Back on white sand. The terrain should get less rocky from now on. June's in sight. It's gonna be bumpy. Now that's hairy ground, if ever I saw it. A resort! Civilization! Don't mind me, friends. I'm just passing through. Enjoy your virgin pina coladas. made a right mess of their garden. No, they'll just send a bill to Motorfest. Mm -hmm. 
So, let's talk vehicles. What can I recommend here? It's got to be an official Rally Raid Survivor, a car with real guts, something French, baby. They do make some nice machines across the channel. How about the Peugeot 3008 DKR? Sturdy, V6 by turbo, dynamic. PSU old devil, you've done it again. That's the perfect choice. is gonna leave you gobsmacked. Good job, driver. New challenges lie ahead. was quite a sizzle reel you created, driver. You take to these wild runs like a duck to water. Speaking of which, I'm getting forecast updates as we speak, and it doesn't look good for the next event. That's funny. Pretty much the same weather Pierce experienced as he was scouting that very part of the field. Pierce's colorful commentary will clue you in on what I mean. We're getting close. Get ready for a little jeep ride through some particularly adventurous and wet terrain. Better wear your raincoat. for the Festival Adventurers halfway through this intense championship. Note for Motorfest, the Rubicon with its rugged four-wheel drive underpinnings is a good option for this kind of terrain. Wait, it doesn't have a roof though. map, I need to go... Yes! That's it! Towards Wamia Mountains. Taking a turn for the worse. It's like a blimmin' monsoon here. Can't see a bloody thing. Ah, oh, here they are. I finally found these waterfalls. Got to say, I was expecting something bigger. Now going through a series of curves on a downhill slope. It's a slippery ride, but my old defender is holding up well. I spoke too soon, I'm stuck. Come on, you old wreck. Show me what your V8 is made of. 
Had to throw some weight overboard, but I'm finally out of this mess. Hopefully the compact Rubicon should hold better in the same conditions. Whoa, I'm finally through. Gotta find a dry spot to make camp for the night. This rain is a real pain in the backside. It's all over with the rain, but the fields are still wet. Just the right amount of mud for motorcycling fun. Pierce has set up for an all-KTM race. I'll let you find out for yourself why he made that choice. Supplies got stolen by some wild animal last night. I cannot believe this. On the bright side, the rain has eased off and the dirt roads are much more passable now. I'm currently going down the hill. A nice fun ride in the morning with some fun and easy turns. wide expanse of central pretty soon. I should get a whole different topology down there. Let's see how it looks. Here I am. I was right. Wide open countryside tracks. Guaranteed fun. Reminds me of riding motocross in the West Box fields as a young lad with my cousins. Great stuff. Well, this is what it's going to be then. A nice open mud playground for some fellow bike lovers to ride to their heart's content. Now, what kind of bike could they give the adventurers? I remember a superb customized KTM in the garage of the festival PR. I didn't quite catch her name. Lula? Honestly, head like a sieve. Well, anyway, she had a hell of a bike. A 450 EXC. Probably the best power to weight ratio four stroke I've ever seen. You. Don't know why that's sending me loopy. I've got to be careful. I haven't eaten in a while and Mother Nature might be starting to mess with my mind. Gotta take a break. It's 
gonna be a long night, and I can feel my energy running dangerously low. This is not the last time you'll be handling bikes in this playlist. But right now, you're going for another rugged ride with another four-wheeled vehicle. Also, it's going to be a night one, so keep your eyes peeled. We're almost there, driver. Commentary track on and well. Please keep in mind that what you hear in these audio tracks are authentic, spontaneous reactions of our specialist recorded in the heat of the moment and shared with you for a truly authentic experience. Across the firmament. Marvelous! Wait a second. What forsaken country am I in? I'm losing it! Pierce's log final entry. If anyone's listening, these are probably my last words. I'm nearing starvation here. Might be about to embark on my last journey. It's okay. I've lived a full life. A beautiful adventure. Oh! The Turkish delight! I've just found a massive stash of sweets under the passenger seat. Alright, I'm back and feeling more alive than ever. Must be this sugar rush. Let's finish this. All I need now is to come up with a car suggestion. I had back there. Gladiators in the skies. Silly me. You 
Eureka! The Jeep Gladiator! That's the one! It was here all along. So far, driver. Entry number seven. What a great night. See, that's what I like about these wild escapades. You never know what's going to happen. Anyway, I'm ready to move on. I'm currently driving on the edge of the mountains, and I think this is a route that calls for a bike. Let's see what happens if I keep following the ridge. Settled. This is going to be a bike event. I reckon they should stick with the KTM 450 here. The Austrian queen of the Enduro Kingdom. With its original competition look this time. Those guys know a thing or two about uneven terrain. I can see the Motorfest grounds from here. Glorious! carrying on, and I happen to notice something a little peculiar. Bear prints all over the trail. Here, in the supposedly bear-free Hawaiian wilderness. Bloody mystery, but no time for that kind of monkey business. I've got an event to wrap up. Oh yeah, that section is definitely going to be part of the show. Tracks. That's starting to play on my mind, to be honest. 
The presence of a bear here is theoretically impossible, but I don't know. It could be some mighty nature force at work here. As someone once said, life finds a way. All right, Pierce, focus. Here comes a bit of a cliff. My suspension felt that one for sure. Okay, that path is complete. Those bear tracks are still bothering me though, listeners. PSO boy, you better watch your back. Only two events left, driver, with some big things still in store. The next event originally didn't get safety clearance when Pierce pitched it to Motorfest after his test run, but he got them to come around. He's a passionate man. We're talking about a volcanic race with a very hefty vehicle and some out-of-control sections. Stay safe. Here you are. Hope you enjoy the race as much as Pierce's feedback. Looks like, yet again, he got himself caught in quite a... situation. I managed to get. The big furry thing escaped from the Honolulu Zoo. He's tracked me all the way to the volcano. That Paddington's after me. I'm gonna climb to the top. You want a piece of me, Teddy B? Come and get me up there. Machine is in dire straits. Come on, buddy, don't let me down. The beast is right behind me. He's managed to follow me up here. Damn it, he's pressuring me. Going back down at full speed, no choice. All right, try to catch me now, you fat bastard. My car almost ended up on its roof. To anybody listening, use a proper sturdy machine for this ride. Like a Hummer, or maybe a bloody tank. What the hell? This animal's not giving up. Maybe some sharp zigs and zags will catch him off guard. Wait for it. Sharp left. Now to the right. That's it. I think I'm safe. Who's laughing now, bear boy?
like our good friend Pierce was in a tight spot back there. But anyway, back to business. This is your last chance for off-road glory, and it's bound to be difficult. You'll have to keep control of a fast rally car through the narrowest parts of Hawaii. This is the final event of this Motorfest series, and it's a banger. You're here, the last part of Pierce's adventures. I'm not going to spoil anything for you, but, well, I do have one question. Do all humans talk to bears? <laughs> Log entry nine. Holy marmalade! Another eventful night. That bear eventually caught up with me. Such a resilient opponent. You gotta respect that. But hey, you know what? He turned out to be quite the nice fella. Once we got past the silliness, we really got on like a house on fire. We've got a lot in common, actually. Anyway, we chatted over a fish supper, then went our separate ways. Via con Dios, my runaway friend. Live free, I say. Our very last trail. I started way up in the mountains, and I'm currently going wild on the descent. This will undoubtedly call for a fast yet versatile vehicle. is the Audi S1 EKS RX Quattro, a 600 HP four-wheel drive. A car that goes like the blazes, but still thrives in the tightest of curves. My word, this is going to be spectacular. to enjoy a final glimpse of that beautiful Hawaiian jungle. Gorgeous. Volume 2 now. Time for a well-deserved break. Maybe I'll go to the cinema tonight. I hope I ride is still showing. Wow, what a bloody journey. We're through, listeners. Until our next adventure, peace out.
You haven't claimed your reward for this playlist. Challenges unlocked. Always at your disposal.
bitches love me cause I'm so fly, so fly, so fly. All the bitches love me cause I'm so fly, so fly, so fly. All the bitches love me cause I'm so fly, so fly, so fly. All the bitches love me cause I'm so fly, so fly, so fly. All the bitches love me cause I'm so fly, so fly, so fly. All the bitches love me cause I'm so fly, so fly, so fly. All the bitches love me cause I'm so fly, so fly, so fly. All the bitches love me cause I'm so fly, so fly, so fly. Because I'm so... So fly, 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 so Cause I'm so fly, 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 fly. 